Hello Pars, this is Yun for the Hunted Tips of the Plunder Parts. In today's video, we're going to find out about why you should recruit the Witch Doctor. Last video I have uploaded about that you should not recruit the Witch Doctor at the beginning of the game because it's quite useless if you do not upgrade. But I found out this, that this guy is kind of a game changer when you upgrade. So let's try to check it out on the following video. Let's look at the Witch Doctor's upgrade tree. And you can see that I've upgraded to level 2 fully upgraded and the price is going to be 30,000 rooms which was 5,000 rooms so it's about six times more expensive but when you uh, upgrade about this much this guy is going to be a game changer so let's try to check it out on the following battlefield and as you can see uh, this guy uh, you can see that the defense is quite tough to penetrate but in this kind of case when you have the witch doctor it won't be that hard to penetrate Look at this video. So now the brutes are at the front first front line and followed by other troops. Now let's try to deploy the witch doctor. When you see my witch doctor, you can see that he's upgraded, so this hemisphere of the shields got a little bit larger. And you can see that it's gonna cover more troops and it's gonna make you more easy to penetrate the uh, fence of the other enemies. And of course there could be casualties, but you can see that I've just resurrected by using the skill called second chance and it's gonna raise up all the zombies the skeletons and the skeletons to damage what they can do is very low and but the thing is that their HP is quite high so what happens is that they're gonna survive a little bit more than the gunners so they're gonna be more stronger than buccaneers sometimes so the cannon is gonna be very busy tracking down the skeletons a lot of skeletons going around so this is why this Witch Doctor can be a game changer in this game. So as you can see, all the defense systems are now all turned down. It's broken down. Now it's, and as you can see on this one, there's a lot of skeletons hitting the part hole, but you can see that the gauge is not going that fast. You can see how weak and how the damage it can cause is very low. But still quite very fun to see the skeleton hitting the part hole. And this is going to be very frustrating to see uh, for this player afterwards when they see the replay. Thank you for watching and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the upper right corner, the honey jar, and you can subscribe. Thank you for watching.